uh, hello you today i'm here to show you something new about crochet actually this is something that i have already worked on before and i really like the result and that's why i want to share it with you right now and uh, to start i'm gonna show you what uh how i'm working it and i'm working with um a cotton yarn this is a red one the light is not so great and uh, you maybe you cannot see but it's a beautiful red and here these are the markers that we are going to use if you don't have markers you can just take a piece of yarn and uh, i will show you also how you can use the piece of yarn to mark our work so this way we are going to learn how to not miss any stitch while we are working with the crochet when we arrive to the end to the last stitch and here i have um, three uh, crochet hooks uh, four four and a half and five millimeters and that's uh, i'm gonna choose one of them to work with so now what i'm gonna show you is the book where i'm taking these ideas and then um, with the picture you can take a print screen or you can you know you can pose and go back i don't know how you're gonna do but i'm gonna show you now uh what the book says okay yes so here that's what i'm gonna show you this is a single double crochet crunch stitch and that's the pattern seen in a graphic which means foundation row of single crochet turning chain single crochet and then double crochets single double single double single and this you go alternating double crochet single crochet and that's all you have to do to have this beautiful and crunchy pattern and here it's saying that we it, we it works over any even number of stitches so now for what we are going to do we are going to make an even number of stitches and that's how we are gonna work single and double i'm gonna choose the my crochet hook it's uh, 4.5 millimeters and then i'm gonna make a, a dish cloth again or uh, just a, a scrub face and anything but i want to show you the pattern so this you know how to make it so here what i'm doing now it's a foundation single crochet i made two chains and i'm gonna make my first step of the foundation row second step and here i close my first single crochet foundation hook again i'm gonna insert my hook there on the v pull up pull up one more and close okay so i'm gonna make an even number of those now i have already two three and i'll come back saying how many stitches i made for my foundation row all right so let's see here i have how many stitches let me count it with you two four six eight ten twelve fourteen and 15 so i'm gonna make one more and then i'm good with the recipe that asks me to make even number or even number of foundation row And I'm sorry, this camera is not great. Uh, my phone is not uh, recording videos anymore. And I have to use the, the tablet that I have for now. 
Um, okay, so here I have 16 uh, foundation row, single crochet. And now I'm going to make the turning chain. And in the same stitch, I will make a single crochet. Then what happens in the pattern? I'm going to show you again. Because now we are here. We made our foundation single crochet row, turning chain, single crochet. And now we're going to make double crochet and single crochet on the following stitches. Okay, here we are. So I did already, I made my single crochet. Now I'm going to make a double crochet on the next next spot. And that's it, single crochet, double crochet. I suggest you to try it on your scarves or whichever, <laughs> whatever are you making. It's going to make you like a um, textured pattern, very nice and beautiful. I'm going to make mine here. I'm just alternating them. So when I arrive to the end, I should finish with a, let me see, I, on the book. Yes, that's what I thought, because we have, in, we have even numbers, so we, we start with a single crochet. In the end, we have to finish with the double crochet. What I'm going to do, it's, I'm going to finish here what I'm doing, this row. So I can start a new one and I will come back then when I am in the end to show you how to start a new row. For now, just alternating single crochet and double crochet. Here I am. Oh, here I am with um, 16 rows of uh, single crochet and double crochet. I have two rows and that's it so I, I I finished with a double crochet now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make my turning chain for two chains this is wait one moment sorry I made a mistake <clears throat> this is my first row Okay, the first, uh, the, because the first one I'm not counting, it was the foundation row. So this is my first row. And now when I arrive here to the end, I have to make one turning chain. And then what I'm going to make here is a single crochet. And now I make the double crochet just on the top of the previous single crochet that I have made. So this way it's going to be alternating single crochet on the top of the double crochet and double crochet on the top of the single crochet. So that's it. In each following, following stitch you make alternating single crochet and double crochet. Here I know I have double, single, double and always variating each one on the top of other. So here I should have a single crochet and I hope it's clear. I'd like to know uh, what are you interested to learn next? I'm going to finish here my sample and I come back in a second to show you. Here what happened is that I arrived to the end of my row but I didn't show you how to use the marker. So here I have to finish my row. I noticed now uh, we always finish it with a, by a double crochet. So here it is my double crochet. And before I finished, 
sorry, I'm gonna finish it and then I can use my marker here. I'm gonna just mark it here so I know this is my last stitch. Oops. Here, I know this is my last stitch. Now I make my turning chain and one single crochet, same way. Each row you work the same way. Turning chain, single crochet and alternating. Double crochet and single crochet. And this here, the marker is gonna be useful when we are working in rounds or for you that it's a beginner you will see in the end you will notice that here is your first stitch because you marked it i think i didn't use it on the right spot i have to say that this camera i'm not happy with it because it's not clear even to me so i apologize but i think you understand the concept let me show you once again when I arrive to the end of this row. Okay, so here I am in the end of uh, a new row and now I'm gonna make my double crochet because all the in this pattern all the rows they are finished by a double crochet and now I make one turning chain and then in this turning chain that I made here I can have my a my uh, marker. Okay, so I'm gonna put it there. And this, as I said, this is useful for you who is a beginner or when we are working in circle. This is a nice thing. I can also show how to work in circle. We can make. Uh, makeup removers and even rugs if you work it in a bigger scale uh, okay so now it's serious I'm going and I'm gonna come back in the end well I don't have to come back anymore I just wanted to show you this beautiful pattern yes so I will come back with a a picture of the pattern once I finished my work you know what, because this camera it's not good, um, I'm not gonna come back with a picture here because you you can already see it's not so clear here. So I'm gonna put the link uh, from the Instagram below and you can click there and then you check um, the picture of uh, what is you, you can make it with it.